my loves thanks for returning i hope this video finds you happy and doing well as you know about the thumbnail this video is going to be all on my monthly favorites so if you're interested then just keep watching so before we get started i want to get a little housekeeping out of the way if you're a returning subscriber i love you thanks so much for returning if you're new here i am bridget on this channel i do skincare makeup with a little bit of lifestyle videos sprinkled in so if that sounds like your cup of tea please consider subscribing to my channel i'd love to have you join the family so this video should really be quick i have a total of six items here a little bit of skincare fragrance uh, body care you know how i do so all right so i'm gonna go ahead and get started and the first product that I have is by Camille Rose. This is her Curl Aid Moisture Butter and it has green tea and jojoba oil in it. Comes in a packaging like this. So this works really well for my 4C hair. I like it because it instantly makes it soft anytime that I use it. I do have to use it every day. I don't feel as though like, let's say I use it today and I tie my hair up and then the next day I will have to use it again um, unless I use a lot of it and I just don't want to use that much product um, and waste it. So I just apply it every morning and it does a really good job. So if you have 4C hair and you're looking for something that's going to soften it up, smell good, and that doesn't leave any product buildup, I don't get any of that with this product. Um, if you're looking for those type of things, I would definitely say to check this out. And I really like the fact that it has green tea attached to it. All right, so next up I have a concealer by Item. And I think this is new to Sephora and I've tried uh, their concealer and they also have a cleansing balm which works really well. But I like this. It's medium coverage. I especially like the finish. The finish is a radiant finish. It doesn't um, have a matte, um, crepey looking type of dry down to it. And also I like the fact that when you apply it, you know how with some uh, concealers, if you want it to have full coverage, you have to apply it and let it sit for a little bit and then you can go back and really blend it out. This one, you don't have to do that. You can just go ahead and blend it out and it really won't blend it away. I love it. I will repurchase this every time. And when I use this, and I blend it out I even use a sponge you know and typically sponges they absorb a lot of product but um, with this one it doesn't you know whatever layer you apply like once you apply it and you go ahead and blend it out it won't blend it away you don't have to sit and wait uh, which I really hate with some concealers you have to do that I think you all know what I'm talking about but either way this is a favorite of mine and I will repurchase it over and over again. All right, so next up I have a product by Elizabeth Arden and these are the Hyaluronic and Ceramide Capsules. My YouTube bestie, Nisi J, bought these for me. Hey girl, hey. I love these um, and you all know right off the bat that I like the uh, capsules anytime a skincare product comes in capsules like these I love these and these capsules are biodegradable so you know if that's a concern of yours you can definitely uh, keep that in mind when buying them as far as the hyaluronic and ceramide um, when you put it on your face um, it instantly gives like a dewy appearance and um, it feels silky when you put it on your face whereas like if you use um just and i don't want to say a regular hyaluronic acid a lot of i'll just say a lot of they have like the type of texture that reminds you of some type of water or some type of liquid this one is more like um it just gives a really silky feeling you would have to actually try it if you're ever in macy's or you're ever in dealers or wherever and they sell these just ask them can you you try out one and you know put it on your skin and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about they these do not feel like the normal you know other hyaluronic acids as far as the texture so that is what I love about as you can see I'm almost out I've ordered some more and I have some more coming in but these are divine and I love them and thank you again Nisi by the way if you all don't know Nisi J you should go and check her out I'll leave her link below if you like me you'll love her all right so next up I have a product by the Algenist and this is their algae niacinamide moisture veil comes in a package like this and you all know that anytime you see niacinamide 
ceramide that's going to help brighten the skin you know even the skin tone out but what I like most about this particular um, moisturizer is that it helps to fight off excess sebum so let's say you're one that produces produces a lot of oils or you have very oily skin this would be a awesome awesome uh, moisturizer to get and use under makeup so let's say um, you're like me and you don't use a primer you just use your regular skincare and you go ahead and put on your makeup um, and on top of that you have very oily skin this would be an excellent one also this one um, a lot of times I like using this you know uh, on days that I'm not going to wear anything else because it kind of it gives you a very uh, glowy type of look and I think that's because of the way that the moisturizer look if you look at it it almost looks like um, golden pearls like you let's say you were to open up a pearl and it was golden or something it, it looks like that and you kind of get that when you apply it on your skin it looks really really pretty this is another one that if you see it in Sephora or I don't know if Ulta sells it you know open it up and you know put it on your skin and uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about but I like this I've used this for so long um, and I know that if you tried it you would love it too all right so next up I have some eyelashes by pure and you all know that I love lashes I, I just love lashes I, and there was a time where you would see me <laughs> if you go back and you look at some of my older videos you'll see me with these very big long lashes on I don't really wear those anymore but I do I have so many lashes I need to go uh, shopping again for some more but anyway these are pure eyelashes and um, I don't know if they still sell uh, I have jet setter and flirt um, but I'm showing you these because I'm not sure if they had this style but pure has some very good lashes they do look really natural I would say that like if you like lashes like I do and you really can't you really don't want to spend as much as like $30 on velour lashes or lily lashes you know try these these are very natural looking church appropriate work appropriate these are really nice of course with any lashes that you have you have to take care of them and if you take care of your lashes you can wear them I don't know how many times over um, so yeah lashes by pure any style you can go wrong with them all right so next up i have a let me put my glasses okay so this is a aromatherapy lux bath with vitamin e and shea butter and this is from bath and body works and this comes up like this now um first let me say i I'm, and i'm going to talk about the negative things that i've seen about this particular bath and maybe you know maybe it says it somewhere on here and I just can't see it but I read in the reviews where people were saying talking about the bubbles and that the bubbles aren't you don't get a lot of bubbles but I don't read any or I don't see anywhere on here where it's a bubble bath what I love about this particular um, product is that it's got the antioxidants in it okay and it doesn't have any of the parabens the phthalates and you know it doesn't have any of that stuff uh, but uh yes you do get some bubbles but i like like when all the bubbles are gone how the water looks it makes the water like so so creamy it it's i guess that's probably the best way to describe it the only thing when you think of creamy you probably think of maybe something that looks milky or whatever but it looks so soft and creamy and then when you get out if you're not big on using moisturizers or lotions or whatever or you feel lazy and you don't want to do that you don't have to because this is not going to dry out your skin it is going to feel soft and you're not going to be all crackly and ashy but I really like how it leaves the water and it doesn't um, you know how some uh, bath products can kind of like cake up and mess up with your sink and all that anyway I, just you all know what i'm talking about this one doesn't do that and i love this this one is very good and again i don't see where it says that it's a bubble bath because when i read the comments i saw so many people saying oh it doesn't make that many bubbles and it doesn't do this and it doesn't do that i'm like well i don't really see where it says 
bubble bath. It says Lux bath. Um, but anyway, I love it and it's time for me to buy some more. The only thing I don't like about it is this. It seems like there should be some kind of pump or whatever because a couple of times I have, you know, pouring too much of it. But either way, I like it. It's a very thick product too. So anyway, yeah, love this Lux bath. All right, so the last up, I have a fragrance and this is the Daisy Love Marc Jacobs Skies. I love this, guys. This smells so good. Um, when you smell it, um, it reminds you of probably being on the beach, like a hot sunny day um, with a little bit of a breeze coming in, a fresh breeze to it. This one has, to me, a very salt accord when you first smell it. Um, so if that accord really doesn't toot your horn, you might wanna run away from this one. Um, as it begins to dry down, you do kind of get um, a milky note and um, after it dries down, you get the Amber Accord. Um, it smells very, very good, but I believe that it's kind of like, um, it doesn't really fit into, well, I'm not going to say that it doesn't fit into the normal Marc Jacobs scents. Um, and the reason that I was going to say that is because it seems like those scents are mostly fresh or fruity or with a light fruitness to it. This one has that salt accord, which kind of sets it apart from all of the other Daisy Love um, fragrances. But either way, I really love it. And, you know, some people might say it would be better suited probably for summer, but I think that you could wear it, of course, anytime you want. Um, as far as the projection, um, I think you're gonna get a lot of that uh, probably within, you know, the first couple of hours of wearing it, but it's definitely not going to last all day. But either way, I love it. And again, this is another one. If you're ever in the stores, Macy's, Sephora, Ulta, check it out. You just might you just might like it so anyway that concludes my favorites let me know down in the comments if you've tried any of these or if not if you tried them and you liked them or even if you hate them let me know down in the comments i'd love to hear about it thank you so much for tuning in and until my next video smooches